I'm Hartford HealthCare's Tina Verona here at the Hartford HealthCare Bone and Joint Institute Test Kitchen. Joining me is Peter Fesco. He's the Director of Dining Services for Hartford HealthCare Senior Services. Peter, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Tina. Well, I'm excited. We're going to be making chicken pot pie today, a really easy, simple, of course, good comfort food. Comfort food. Right? Absolutely. And easy for anybody to do, really. Yeah, so it's easy to prepare. It's also easy to prepare in advance if you mm -hmm. want to freeze it and then you know, if you're a caregiver, you don't have that much time, you can bring it out and it's just ready to go. Absolutely. And a good thing is how you have all the ingredients laid out here is yes. to do that first. Correct. So right? this is what we call mise en place. It's a mm -hmm. French term. It means everything has its place, so you're ready to go. All right. So what's the first thing we do to get this going? Well, sure. Let's go over our list of ingredients mm -hmm. here. We have our low sodium chicken broth, mm -hmm. fresh diced chicken breast, white meat, fresh celery and onions, some peas and carrots, butter, flour, fresh thyme, and salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Salt and pepper. First thing we're gonna do, melt some butter. Okay, and how much butter is that? Oh, uh, it's about a tablespoon. Okay. And we're gonna take our celery and onions and we're gonna sweat those. And the reason why we sweat those is to build more flavor. When you saute your vegetables, it builds more depth in terms really, of flavor. You're really cooking that flavor in there. Correct. And these ingredients you can buy, like you said, you can buy the diced chicken already like that. You can buy frozen vegetables. You can really make this easy. Absolutely. It really depends on how much time you want to invest mm -hmm. and how much money you'd like to invest. Okay. And then you're sauteing that. How long do you saute that so for? So you want to sweat these out for about five minutes. Okay. And you'll start to smell it. And then so when you see they're translucent, then you know you're ready to go. You're ready to go. And then the next uh, ingredients? Next, we'll be adding our flour. Mm-hmm. And this is for consistency, right? Uh, yeah, it's our binder too. It's going to thicken up our sauce. That's an important step. That if, if there's one step you don't want to miss, it's the flour. Absolutely. Otherwise, you're going to have a thin product, mm -hmm. and it's going to be very soupy. Because as you see, the chicken stock is very thin. That's such a thin broth that yes. you do need the flour. You need to that binder that to help. Up, right? Absolutely. Okay. So the key to cooking with flour is you, flour has a very strong taste, so you want mm -hmm. to cook the flour taste out. It takes about ten minutes to do that. Okay. And then you're going to add the uh, the chicken broth? Yes, we'll add our low sodium chicken broth. Okay, and that's what, uh, about a... This is about three quarters of three a quarters cup. Three quarters of a cup? Yep. And you add it in all at once, you don't have to add it in slowly. No, we're going to add it all in there and we're going to let that reduce a little bit. Okay. And are you stirring consistently? Do you have to keep stirring it? You don't to... have to sit and cons mm -hmm. stir, but you can come back and check on it if you need to cut your chicken or whatever you need to do. Okay. Um, and you can tell it'll be ready once it starts to thicken up. Great. Oh yeah, it's smelling. It smells good. <laughs> I see your point in, in why you have to saute it first. Yeah, you yeah, want to really get that flavor. You want to get the flavor in there. Okay. And next. So as we let that thicken mm -hmm. up, we're going to add our white meat and our peas and Chicken carrots. Chicken and vegetables. Yeah, the, That's the meat and stuff. vegetables are the good stuff of the pot pie. So you add that right into Yeah, into we're going to put this all into our sauce here, all inclusive today. Great. So in a sense, you're almost sautéing that too, right? Right. Pretty so much? this is pre-cooked, but you're you're sautéing it as well, getting mm -hmm. it hot. Um, it's fully cooked again, so you just re the main thing is to get it nice and hot. Mm -hmm. And this is a serving. We should explain this is a serving for one. Correct. Much, this right? is about for one portion, okay. but it doesn't mean you can't multiply the recipe right, and make just more. Just double or triple the recipe Correct. if you want to add more people. But this is great for just one person and really easy to do. Yeah, absolutely. So we have about 30 seconds left. I know we have a finished product in the oven, so we do. let's show you what it looks like when it's all done and baked and sure. ready to right eat. Sure. Right in here and grab our pot pie. Oh, that looks so good. Look at the, the crust is so thick. Nice little crust on there for you. Excellent. All right. Well, again, a really easy, quick, simple idea that you can make right at home. I'm Hartford HealthCare's Tina Verona. Thank you so much for joining us.